Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple automated text. So for something like uh, The Legend of Zelda or Pokemon where you want the text to actually uh, scroll as it's like it's reading it on screen. So it's pretty simple to do. First thing we're going to do is just create a um, GUI text. And we can just name this uh, Auto Text. And then uh, you can adjust it to whatever you want. Um, I'll increase the size just a little bit and move it down here for now. And I'm just going to get rid of the uh, text that's on here. But we can still find it just by that name. So we'll go look at the script. Um, letter pause. So how long you want to wait before, before you display the next uh, letter. And then a uh, sound if you want a sound to play each time. Um, private, oh, I don't even think we need that anymore. And then, um, yeah, what you want your text to be. So my text is the text you want to display on the screen. And if you want to make it so once we get to the end of here, it jumps down to the next row, you just uh, insert that end. And then you can put your text here. So, yeah. And then at start, we want to start this type text. If you wanted to put this into like a, uh, or call it when something happens, like if you enter a trigger or you click on like an NPC or something, you can uh, put this script in the NPC script or call it. So when this starts, it'll it'll grab a letter from uh, my text. So each, each letter will be added into the, uh, the array. Or it'll, it'll turn it into an array and it'll call each uh, each slot every 0 0.2 seconds. So that's the basics of that. Now you just want to throw your auto type script onto here. And yeah, in here you can adjust whatever you want. For the letter pause, we can do 0 0.4. You can throw in your audio clip or whatever you want. So if you see here, it'll type out everything. So every 0 0.4 seconds, it'll it'll write out the thing and go to the next line. And yeah, that's pretty much the basics. You could keep doing the end thing and make it go down further and stuff. I think in uh, other tutorials, I'll show you guys how to change like the color on your text and maybe do some other cool effects with that. So I guess stay tuned until next time.